I think most people still think of manufacturing as being, you know, the, the dark, dangerous, dirty, you know, that type of environment. This day and age, advanced manufacturing is so very different. When you're talking about advanced manufacturing, you're talking about not only those skills to support robotics and automation, but you also need those that can support data analysis. All of those advanced manufacturing jobs require a high level of skill. It's a big goal of Central Piedmont Community College to be the leader in workforce development. So we spend a lot of our time trying to develop appropriate competencies in the classroom to make sure that we're teaching what students will need in the real world. Uh, Siemens has been a big part of that. Once you're an apprentice, you're here on campus one day a week and then four days a week in the industrial setting. That's one of the biggest advantages of the apprenticeship program because you do get a chance to take those competencies that you learn in the classroom and put it to work. We'll set the tool off of it. Apprenticeship students in the classroom are typically very good. They have a lot of motivation. They're doing this at work and the competencies that we present in our classes are critical to the students and their job on a daily basis. After four years, you uh, graduate with an associate degree, a great job, no debt. It's a great program. Siemens is investing a lot of monies uh, in universities and engineering schools so that more data science and data engineering and software-based technologies are taught there. These are the kind of things we are doing so that we can get that high-end workers with all the skills that we need for operating systems like MindSphere. Software packages are very dynamic and they're changing all the time. So as new ones are introduced, uh, like PLM or MindSphere, and we start to look at our program over time and how we can incorporate those, what parts of it will benefit particular classes, and what way can it be used to improve a student's understanding of how a component is designed. The thing that we really have to make sure that we understand is nothing, nothing is dormant, nothing, nothing stays the same. That's one of the things I see about MindSphere. We're gonna see more and more companies that are utilizing the open ecosystem of MindSphere, utilizing those applications that are available, utilizing the capabilities to analyze data that's available through these connected devices, to be able to analyze the data, make the right decisions based on that data, that's gonna be huge. We've convened several industry partners together to have discussions about Industry 4.0 and about Internet of Things. And if they see it impacting their uh, future workforce, we need to go ahead and start making arrangements now. We have the people, it's just a matter of providing them with the correct education that will prepare them with the competencies they need to do those jobs and to maintain all those automated systems that are making the parts that we want to buy. We're really lucky to be able to work with such great partners and have real world opportunities for students. Our goal is just to give them the skills to, to get in the door. If we can give them the skills to, to cross that line into employment, that changes lives and it changes industry and it's positive for everybody.